News Channel. Now, the most comprehensive news coverage for the Santa Clara Valley. KNTV News, First Edition. It doesn't happen very often, a city enjoying the respect of its citizens and being recognized for it. But believe it or not, that's what's happening in Sunnyvale. Tina Plaza has the story. Coming up in World News tonight, a city where most residents think their government is doing a great job. A city Sunnyvale has made the big time. The city, with a population of just over 120,000 people, will be in the spotlight in millions of homes tonight. ABC's World News Tonight will be using it as an example of what's right, not wrong, with city government. Where you see consistently in city after city um, very significant budget reductions, the layoffs, and that sort of thing. Uh, to date, we've been able to avoid that. They've been able to avoid that, according to city officials, thanks to a two-fold system, a performance budgeting program where city workers are compensated based on the quality of their services, and a 10- to 20-year financial planning program. Uh, I just wish that we could bottle this or package it and send it off to Washington in a meaningful way, because I think that's what's going to solve the budget deficits. This is an example of what happens when a city runs out of money. San Jose City offices are closed till January 3rd, and so are some other Bay Area city halls. Yet the doors of Sunnyvale City Hall remain open today, like every other non-holiday. Like every other city, their sales, room, and property tax revenues are down. But unlike many other cities, they saved an unheard of $12 million this year. That's allowed them to keep public services like libraries open, while most of Sunnyvale's neighbors are cutting hours. I think the real way of looking at what, what we've been able to accomplish is we have not cut any services at all over the last 15 years. A success story that even our future president is rumored to be looking at very seriously. Perhaps big government could take some tips from a small California town. In Sunnyvale, Tina Plaza, KNTV, First Edition. Sunnyvale has been a much recognized city in its time. The story, by the way, will air on World News Tonight right after this newscast. It's nice to have a story about what's right with, uh, with our country for a change, isn't it? Yes, it is. More From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Tonight, reporting from Washington, Sam Donaldson. Finally tonight on the American Agenda, we're going to Sunnyvale, California. Not one of America's best-known cities, but the people who advise President-elect Clinton know a lot about it. And so do politicians in a number of other cities. They all think they can learn something from Sunnyvale when it comes to handling tax dollars and managing the government. Our agenda reporter is Ken Kashiwahara. Across the country, cities are in trouble. They say cut back. We say fight back. Services are being cut back. Employees laid off. Roads and buildings are crumbling. Taxes are going up. Citizens are angry. But not here. Welcome to Sunnyvale, California, a city of 120,000 that is a pioneer in a growing movement to reinvent government. For the past 15 years, this city has not raised one tax, has not reduced one service. Sunnyvale uses a common sense premise uncommon in most cities that government ought to be held accountable for every tax dollar it spends, that taxpayers ought to know exactly what to expect of their government. Most governments of all kinds have no idea what results they're getting when they spend money. Two examples. When the crime rate goes up, it's easy for officials in many cities to simply say they need more money for more police without any specific idea what those additional officers are expected to achieve. In Sunnyvale, the police department's budget is linked to a specific promise that it will respond to emergency calls within 5.6 minutes or less, 90% of the time. One reason police say the crime rate is so low. For its budget, the Parks Department promises to repair acts of vandalism within three days. Result? Clean, well-kept parks. If they fail, Sunnyvale's managers face pay cuts or even dismissal. They also have incentives to succeed. Doug Mello, a public works supervisor, received a salary bonus for coming up with a way to cut the cost of replacing sidewalks. By pruning the roots of trees to prevent them from buckling the sidewalks, and grinding down protruding edges instead of replacing the concrete, the city has saved $200,000 over the last three years. I'm given a lot of flexibility to be creative. Uh, I'm not really held back. 
if there's a new innovative idea and I'm wanting to try it, I'm given the, the opportunity to do it. That emphasis on results has produced other innovations. Sunnyvale's library uses supermarket-style checkout counters, reducing the number of library workers needed. Police and fire departments are combined. Every patrol officer is a firefighter, and every firefighter is a police officer, reducing the number of personnel needed. Rank-and-file officers say they like their dual roles. If the system is spend, not innovate, then that's what happens. You spend. If the system of reward says innovate, uh, then, then the innovations come very quickly. Another innovation is this, Sunnyvale's 10-year budget. Most cities plan ahead only one or two years and risk stumbling from crisis to crisis. Sunnyvale projects cost increases far down the road and either delays spending now or makes adjustments to avoid paying more later. Here's an example. Seven years ago, the city surveyed all 300 miles of city streets and determined that if the roads were allowed to deteriorate, the cost of major repairs would be astronomical. By spending more money early to upgrade the roads, the city saved money in the long run by cutting its street repair costs in half. We have an opportunity to see those large expenditures out there, avoid them if we can through preventative maintenance, and have a direct impact on what we're doing today. Sunnyvale operates more like an efficient business than a government. 45% fewer employees deliver the same services as other cities the same size, and the cost of government has been reduced by 20% over the last six years. As for customer satisfaction... Outstanding. I think public safety is really good. We use the library a lot. We use the parks a lot. They're always clean. Recent surveys show 90% of the city's residents are satisfied with the way their city is run. An approval rating any city, or for that matter, any business, would envy. Ken Kashwahara, ABC News, Sunnyvale. That's our report on World News Tonight. I'm Sam Donaldson. Please join us for Nightline later. Now for all of us here at ABC News, good night.